Google Maps provides a suite of APIs to let developers access location data. Each of the APIs packages up unique functionality, and today I'm going to give you a quick tour through all those APIs. So let's start with the Roads API. Roads API provides an important service that can clean up any collected GPS data produced by your mobile application. Say, for example, you collect about 10 GPS points from your app while driving around in a car. They're more than likely a poor representation of the path you drove. Some points are in a park, others are in the neighbouring street. By using the Roads API, you can turn those 10 inaccurate GPS points from this to this without the need for a higher sample rate, which will increase battery drain. The Roads API uses Google Maps data to ensure the points are actually on roads you've traversed. Another feature of the Roads API is speed limits. Now that feature is for paying customers only, but the value of it for, say, speed or fastest route estimating is immense, so you might want to check it out. Imagine you're managing a number of pizza stores. When an order comes in, you could use the Distance Matrix API to find out the distance from the customer to all of your shops at once. Then you can choose the closest store to deliver the pizza from. When it's time to deliver the pizza from the shop to the customer, you can use the Directions API. This API allows you to pass in addresses or let long pairs as the input and retrieve driving, walking, cycling, or public transport directions. This API also supports route optimization. So say the driver is using your pizza delivery app. You can use the Directions API to get the shortest path between all the delivery stops. In addition, you can give the customers approximate arrival time of their delicious meal using the API to estimate travel time in current traffic. Places API lets you convert coordinates into meaningful place names. So next time you want to invite your buddies to 3.14159265,2.718281828, just stop and tell them you'll meet at O'Shea's Irish Pub. Other times you might have an address but need its coordinates. Say you're building a house hunting app and you want to plot a bunch of properties on a map. You could use the geocoding API to convert addresses to lat longs. Reverse geocoding is also supported, converting lat longs back into addresses. This is useful, for example, if you're writing something like a weather widget app. Grabbing the GPS coordinates from the user's phone, you can display the country, suburb, or street they're currently at by parsing the data received from the API. Other related APIs we provide include the Elevation API and the Time Zone API. For full details about all web service APIs available to extend your app, see the Google Maps APIs developer docs at this link. Each of those APIs is really powerful on its own, but when used together, they bring synergy into your app that gives it that extra edge.